Shalom, shalom. Call Hala, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. That's giving our praise to the Most High. Your name is Only Begotten Son. In the name of the, in the, name of the uh, Holy Spirit, Salakia. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. And in this video, I want to touch on their crypto billionaire, Nikolai, I'm not even going to try to say his last name, found dead near beach in San Juan, Puerto Rico due to him allegedly drowning. His very last tweet is crazy. Okay, so they're saying this man drowned. Okay, and, and this, I had to do this video. I posted it on, on YouTube, but I, I posted it on it. But I had to do the video because I just saw this post, you know, twice on Twitter and on Instagram. So I figured, you know, let me go ahead and, you know, touch on this real quick. But I had just did, recently did a video about another one, another crypto uh, currency um, man that um, died, mysteriously died, you know, and it was another one before him. So, so, so this happens to be the fourth one now. Okay. Which shows you that these devils are moving towards what their new world order. They know they have but a short time, so they about to start showing out. They about to start making, you know, they uh, moves and they going after these cryptocurrency billionaires because they ain't gonna be no more, more cryptocurrency, man. Okay, they're coming out with this with their cryptocurrency. Okay, they're coming out with their digital currency. This guy Biden said, what December thirteenth, which is in a couple more uh, days, you know, a week or so. They're going to come out with their, um, you know, that they, they, they want they want everything to go digital. So they don't want no competition, man. Same thing with the U.S. dollar. When Gaddafi says he's going to, you know, turn their uh, their um, currency into gold. Well, well, what do they do to Gaddafi? OK, it's not rocket science, man. So this is what his tweet. This is the man's last tweet. I'm going to read this again before I read the tweet. It says another crypto billionaire found dead near beach in San Juan. Puerto Rico due to him allegedly drowning his very last tweet is crazy so they say he allegedly drowned right this is his last tweet CIA and Mossad and pedo elite are tr are running some kind of sex trafficking entrapment blackmail ring out of Puerto Rico and Caribbean islands and, that, and, and, and that's the truth you know these islands you know these people do all types of madness at these islands and take children and you know uh, people you know kidnap people you know that 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 and they, they never be they, they never end up being accounted for you know it says they are going to frame me with a laptop planted by my ex-girlfriend who was a spy <laughs> they will torture me to death so this man said his ex-girlfriend was a spy first and foremost <laughs> let's, let, let's talk about that okay and that shows you why this place is wicked man that you cannot trust this place if you get you know any type of fame or notoriety in this place you know you can you 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 you, you may never have ha have had a girl before and you know look at the guy man he probably never really had a girl before so some hot chick came up to him became his girlfriend the whole time she was a spy they watching you you see it says the cia tracking down every crypto billionaire and that's that's what they're doing they're tracking down all the crypto billionaires and they buy, and, and are killing them the cia on demon time Mm. It says the fact that you didn't post when he died to make it seem. Let me see. Okay, so. Okay, I don't, I don't understand what they what they what they what they're trying to make, but yeah. So apparently, you know, they they died. You know, they all died around the same time, man. You know, they all died around the same time, and and he was from Florida. That's crazy. You know. It says friends of crypto community are suspicious of timing of his death it says and it came hours after he tweeted that the cia and Mossad were after him so this man tweeted that man he tweeted that okay <laughs> somebody because somebody i guess somebody trying to say oh yeah well you didn't it's, it's, been, it's been it's been two months so they hold two months after that text probably just drowned organically people are just so ignorant and naive but at the end of the day hey man this is what's going on okay and i'm gonna show you why let's grab the scriptures okay so first and foremost 
Okay, let's grab this, man. Because, you know, Jake's whole desire is to be rich and famous. If you was rich and famous in this society, you know, what, what, what they say? More money, more problems, man. Okay? More money, more problems. He said his girlfriend was a spy. You know, and us, even in this truth, you got to, you know, question people that you're around. And, you know, you obviously you don't question them. But, you know, you never know. You know, the Lord said um, there shall be spies un un unawares. Okay, so, you know, and us doing this work, this is a very serious work, man. You know, this is a very, this is what's ushering, ushering in the kingdom of heaven. So you, you bet your ass the CIA is watching us too, man. Listening on our phone calls. I was on a phone call the other day and I heard some, I heard some noise in the back of the phone call. And, I, you know, I started talking to the damn agent, man. You know, because they definitely watching, but we ain't got nothing, nothing to hide from because all we're doing is serving the Lord. This is Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. You see, the Lord said this is not our rest. So we ain't looking to, to have a long, everlasting, you know, flourishing and satisfying life here, man. We understand this place is about to be destroyed, and we, you know, doing this work are, are on the other hand of that, man. You know, through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we are the ones that are, um, how you say it, I guess, uh, 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 helping to usher in the end of this place, man. And you don't think the CIA know that, <laughs> you know? Nah, man. And they said they, they said this man was from Florida. Okay. So you know, hey, the Lord said this is not our rest, man. You know, at the same time though, the Lord got us, man. Okay. The Lord got us, and He's protecting us from these devils, man. Okay. And, and, and hey, listen, we the Lord, the men, of the Lord protected, man. You see, if, if they're going for these cryptocurrency billionaires like, 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 like this, you don't think they can go for the men of the Lord <laughs> like that? You know, but at the same time, you see, the men of the Lord are protected. These crypto, these crypto called crypto billionaires that, you know, that guy, man, you know, the Lord wasn't, wasn't dealing with that, man. Okay. Psalm chapter 17, verse 13. Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him. Cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Because they got plans to come for us too, man. You know, they're going to try to lay hands on us. So the Lord said, for all these things, they shall lay hands on you. Okay? And, you know, cast you in the prisons. He, he even try to put, you know, certain brothers to death. From men which are thy hand, O Yahweh, from men of the world which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure, they are full of children and leave to rest their substance to their babes. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness, and I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. We want to awake with the likeness of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We want to be protected, man. Okay. Uh, verse eight, it says, keep me as the apple of thine of the eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings from the wicked that oppress me. From the, the my deadly enemies who are, who, who can pass me about, and these devils are seeking, you know, um, they're they're uh, seeking to, to to put them in the Lord to to, to death, man, you know. <sighs> Let me see. Uh, well, you know what? Let's go here. Um, and like I said, man, the reason why they want to do this too, before I, I gotta be careful with this. You know, you know how these devils is, especially when you go into this Revelation chapter 13. But the reason why they want to do this is because they want to they, they, they want to bring in this new world order, man. You know, they want to bring in this new world order. OK. And ultimately that M to the O to the T to the B. OK. It says. Revelation chapter 13, verse uh, 15, it says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed okay and which is they want to bring in this new world order okay if you don't want to get down with, with their program with their system they're going to kill you okay it says and cause all both small and great rich and poor so it don't matter if you're a crypto billionaire you think you're going to use your money now you're going to use our money you you you're going to use this technology man that, that we got to hell with your crypto you're going to use our mo to the t to the and if you don't we're going to kill you and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads, that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the karagma, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. So you're not going to be able to buy or sell without it. So they don't want these crypto billionaires giving people a way out, you know, a way, a, a way, a, a way to escape their new world order. Not only are you going to be able to buy and sell is if you have that M to the O to the T.
to the B. And if you don't have it, guess what? They come down. Hey, they come down with great wrath, man. Okay. It says, um, uh. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. These devils about to come down with great wrath. They know they, they, they know their time is short. They know their time is short. So they so, so, so in their mind said this, okay, you know what? Let's just destroy everything. You know, let's destroy anybody in our way. You know, when he can't deceive you, he, he going he going to his blessing, which is a sword, man. You know. He going to his blessing, man. Revelation chapter 3, verse 10, it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. The hour of temptation is coming, which is when everybody's going to be tried with this karagma, okay? They're talking about a recession next year. In the beginning of next year, it's going to be a recession, you know, and it's going to be pretty bad because everybody's going to feel it. You know, it's going to be, you know, <laughs> like we're like basically we're already in a recession, but 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 if they're coming out saying we're going to be in a recession, then it's because that, that that means that it's going to be something that you know it's going to be different. It's going like it's going to be noticeable, okay? That's your price is going to go up on everything. It's about to get bad. So the Lord said, uh, verse ten, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will keep thee from the hour of temptation, and that's what they're getting ready for. That's why they're getting rid of all these crypto billionaires because they because they're trying to bring you to the hour of temptation, man. It says, which shall come upon all the world. To try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay. So there's everybody going to be tried, man. Like I said, they don't want you to get no way out. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast. That no man take thy crown. So you got to hold on to this truth. You know, keep, keep, keep this truth, man. Okay. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my power. And he shall no more go out. So that he that overcome, you got to overcome what's coming. Okay. The hour of temptation, the hell, the Jacob's trouble, you know. It's about to get bad, you know. And only going you gonna be able, even able to overcome is with the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai on you, man. Without it, you're not doing you 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 you're not doing so much, man. Okay. And him will I write upon him the name of my power and the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my power, and I will write upon him my new name, which is you know, hey, that's gonna be the elect, man. You know, that's what we're striving for to be to be of the elect. Okay. Let me grab this. Um, um, they. This is what we're supposed to be doing, man. Uh, here we go. Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye make ye that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, keep not silence and give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. And I bet you all these other cryptocurrency billionaires are fucking terrified right now. They seen all this news. This is the fourth one in the past, you know, couple of months. So they seeing all this news, just like what happened with you know Doctor Sebe and all those ho ho holistic doctors. They ain't want you get no ho no no holistic medication before they brought out this carot. I mean this yab. Okay, so what happened? They killed off all the they killed off a bunch of holistic doctors. What well, they about to do the same thing with these crypto billionaires, man? You know, and this devil work in the shadows, man. He, he worked, he, you know, he he worked in the shadows. Okay, they said they said they was gonna torture him, man. And, and you bet your ass they 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 did, and they made it seem like he he got drowned. I bet you when he got drowned, he had all types of, you know, things on his body. So the Lord's supposed to speak out against this, man. The true men of the Lord supposed to be speaking out against this. If you're not speaking out against this, if you ain't did a video about these cryptocurrencies. You know, billionaires being, you know, uh, <laughs> destroyed, then you might want to, you know, reevaluate, re re man. You know, we got to get into these prophecies, man. And what we're seeing right now is the M to the O to the T to the B is being established. They're about to come out and make a huge push for this thing, I believe, next year, you know, or, you know, well, technically this year. December 13th, they saying is going to be a, uh, a, a new digital currency. They're moving towards a new digital currency, man. Okay, so cash is going to be obsolete, you know, not now it might not happen immediate, but over time, weeks, days, months, your cash is going to be no more legal tender. Okay, your cryptocurrency is going to be no more legal tender. Okay, it's going to be, you know what I mean? It ain't going to be, it, you, you can't use it, man. You know, it, it's, it's illegal now. You know, they're going to ban cash. They're going to ban cryptocurrencies. And all you're going to have is what, you know, 
either trusting in the Lord or trusting in the, or going to the devil, man. You see, that that that's the only thing. That's the only thing that's next, man. Trusting in the Lord, or trusting in the devil. Okay. Um. That's crazy. His last tweet, man. Oh, let me grab that too about the spies. Cause you got Jake's in Israel, you know. Um, you got Jake's in Israel who, you know, aren't real brethren, false brethren, false sisters, you know, and, and, and you might have spies among us, like the Black Panthers. You had infiltrators, man. Okay, just looking to destroy you, and they'll try to pretend they love you so much, like they all about they all they care about you, you know. Like he said, it was his girlfriend, man. His girlfriend is is is, is trying to frame him. Okay, I lost it. Let's go here. He said his girlfriend is trying to frame him. Okay. CIA and Mossad a, and pedo elite are running some kind of ex-trafficking entrapment blackmail ring out of Puerto Rico and Car Caribbean islands. They are going to frame me with a laptop planted by my ex-girlfriend who was a spy. They will torture me to death. So, so he knew, you know, he knew. Um, it says Galatians chapter two, verse four, and that because of false brethren and sisters unawares brought in who came in to spy out our liberty, which we have in Yahweh HaMashiach, that they might bring. OK, OK, pressure, pressure. So he asked the Lord to forgive him that we wish they which that which we have. Also, like we came in privately to spy out our liberty, which we have in Yahweh Shehem Mashiach, that they might bring us into bondage. That's what they want. They want to bring us into bondage. They're trying to. They're trying to spy. You know, you, you got niggas, man. You know, you got niggas in that same spirit, man. You know, niggas working for the CIA. You know, that's why. That's why we ain't all about no damn numbers, man. Because you, you, you got if you got five hundred men in your camp. You know, you got to worry about two hundred of them, man. At least, you know, maybe, maybe even three hundred of them. You know. It says that they might spy out us into bondage to whom we have placed in uh, by subjection. No, not for an hour that the truth of the gospel might continue with you, man. So hey, 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 you can't do nothing against the truth before the truth. You see, so at the end of the day, whatever you saw try to come with a hey, Lord is going to hey, 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 this truth is going to flourish, man. And let me tell you this too, man. The only reason why they haven't been able to, 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 to come up. Um, let me see. Um, what's that scripture? Uh, you see, the only reason why they ain't been aiming, able to come to come come up against the, the men of the Lord and come do do that to the men of the Lord, you know, on that type of level, is because what the Lord is protecting His men. Okay, the Lord is protecting His men. It says, uh, Psalms. Mm. And, and I bet you that man was in fear before he died. You know, he, 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 he made that post. Psalms 34, verse 2. My soul shall make her boast in Yahweh. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the uh, Yahweh with me. And let us exalt his name together. And that's what we do. When you come together, we teach the word. We are magnifying the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. And we are exalting his name. Okay, together. Teaching together, you know. It says, I sought Yahweh and he heard me and delivered my, me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were frightened. And their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. And that's what we do. And we cry out to the Lord. He hearing us, man. Do you think that that crypto being there was crying out to the Lord? It says the angel of Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. You see? So that's why we don't find ourselves in these situations where we getting, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, um, I guess, you know, the CIA kick, 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 killing us or whatever. You know, because what the Lord has His angels encamping around us, man. And and and, and I've told the brothers a testimony, but I, you know, I believe I had a when I first started seeking the truth. I, I believe I, because I started exposed, I started telling everything, and I believe I had an agent come to my ass, man. And he pretty much tried to, he was he was about to take my life, and but you know, the Lord intervened, man. It was divine intervention, and this man looked 
past me at something over my shoulder. Like it was like, like it put fear in his eyes, man. You see, and I believe that was an angel, man. I believe this man saw an angel behind me protecting me because when I looked back, it was nobody back there. You see, and then this man just, you know, he he had left, you know, but I believe that man was a damn agent coming to, 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 to you know, you know, to, to do the damn thing, you know. Who knows? Because when I first came into the truth, I started exposing lives on all platforms, just talking about the truth. You know, before I actually came into the truth, I was like going to, I was like a more of a conspiracy theory guy. And I was exposing a lot of conspiracy theories. Then I actually came into the truth, you know, and I started to get understanding and started linking the conspiracy theories up with the scriptures. You know, then left the, the bullshit and, you know, took the, 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 the real shit with it or whatever. But how you may have it, whoever that person was. You know, they, I believe that was a, some CIA agent or some shit that came to pretty much, you know, you know, take my life. But this man looked over my shoulder and he and was fear in his eyes that I never, you know, that, that it like, you know, <laughs> my flashed for my eyes at first. And then he stopped what he was about to do. And he made his life flash for his eyes. And then he left. OK. And there was nobody behind me. OK. So I believe that was an angel. The scripture says the angel of Yahweh encampeth around about them that fear him. And delivered them and the lord is delivering us every single day brothers you got demons trying to kill you every single day spies and all type of shit you know demons working around the clock trying to take you out but the lord is keeping us man he says satan desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat but the lord has prayed for us let's grab that man let's grab that okay let's grab that man because see at the end of the day man age age you can do you, you, you can do nothing against the lord's elect this is uh, Luke chapter 22, verse 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai has prayed for us, man. Yahweh Shai has prayed for us. It says that, that, that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Okay, so this thing is, you know, we got work to do, man. All right, we got work to do. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame, Shirala, Ababa, Ababa, Praise, Lessons, Edifying to the whole fall elect. Shalom.